So here are the stats after using the best block strap settings and patched fast flags for Roblox. In today's video, I'll show you the best patched fast flag settings that will boost your FPS and fix your lag instantly. Stay tuned, because these secret settings will completely change how Roblox runs on your PC. Gear Up Booster is a great tool that helps reduce your ping while playing games, and it works with both wired and wireless connections. Download it safely from the official website using the link in the description and enjoy with lower ping. Step 1. Turn off power throttling in Windows to use full CPU power. If you have an old or weak PC, it's very important to make sure your computer is using 100% of its power when you are gaming. To turn this feature off, press Windows plus R on your keyboard to open the run box. In the box that appears, type gpedit.msc and press enter. This will open a new window called Local Group Policy Editor. On the left side, click through the folders in this order. Computer Configuration Arrow Administrative Templates. Arrow System Arrow Power Management. Now, look at the right side and find Power Throttling Settings. Double-click it. A new window will open. Inside, double-click the option called Turn Off Power Throttling. Choose Enabled, then click Apply, and finally click OK to save. After you do this, Windows will stop limiting your CPU in the background. This allows your CPU and GPU to run at their full strength all the time. It means smoother Roblox gameplay, higher FPS, and fewer stutters when you move around in-game. It's a very simple step, but it unlocks extra performance instantly. Step 2. Enable all CPU cores for maximum speed. You can get all the files from my official website. I give link in the description of this video. By default, your CPU might not always use all of its cores at full power. This means your PC isn't working as fast as it should during gaming. To fix this, we'll use a free program called Park Control. First, download and install Park Control. After it's installed, open the program. From the list of power plans, select Bitsum Highest Performance. This power plan makes sure your CPU doesn't slow down when idle. Now change these settings inside Park Control. Parking AC, set to 100% and turn off. Parking DC, set to 100% and turn off. Frequency Scaling AC, set to 100% and turn off. Frequency Scaling DC, set to 100% and turn off. Next, enable Bitsum Dynamic Boost. This makes sure CPU threads wake up instantly when you start gaming. After this, open Windows Power Options and select Bitsum Highest Performance as your active plan. Confirm that CPU parking and frequency scaling are both at 100% for AC, plugged in, and DC's battery. Finally, click Make Active and then Apply. This ensures your CPU is always running at its top speed. Instead of wasting time with power-saving modes, your PC will be super responsive and Roblox will run much smoother. Step 3. Apply Patched Block Strap. Fast Flag Settings for Roblox. You can get all the files from my official website. I give link in the description of this video. Now we're going to use a tool called Block Strap. This tool lets us change secret Roblox settings called Fast Flags. These control how graphics and performance work in Roblox. By applying optimized Fast Flags, we can boost FPS a lot, especially on low-end PCS. First, go to your FPS Boost Pack and install Block Strap Launcher. After it's installed, press the Windows key, search for Blockstrap, and open it. Inside Blockstrap, go to Configure Settings. Then go to the Engine Settings tab. Now make these changes. Anti-Aliasing and Quality, set to 1x. This lowers the effect quality and makes the game run faster. Disable Player Shadows. Turn this on. Shadows look nice but use a lot of CPU slash GPU power. Disable Post Processing Effects. Turn this on too. These are extra effects like blur and lighting. Disable terrain textures. Turn this on. This removes ground details like grass and dirt. Preferred lighting technology. Set this to voxel phase one. It's simple and light on performance. Reserve rendering quality. When display scaling, turn this on. This lowers rendering quality when you play at lower resolutions, making the game smoother. Rendering mode. You must test this yourself. Some people get better FPS with Direct3D 10, while others get better with Direct3D 11. Personally, I use D3D 10 for maximum FPS, but test both for your PC. Texture quality. Set this to zero. This makes textures very simple, but increases FPS a lot. Now go to the Engine Fast Flag Settings tab inside Blockstrap. Scroll down until you see Fast Flags. Click the button that says I know what I'm doing, then click Add New. Open the text file inside your FPS Boost Pack. This file has different fast flag presets. 
Copy everything from the file. I recommend using the updated secret fast flag graphics preset because it balances FPS and visuals. Paste everything into the fast flags section in block strap. Click OK. If a message appears, just click Yes, then click Save. After saving, restart Roblox and join a game. You will see the difference. The game will look very simple, but it will run much smoother with higher FPS and less lag. In this step, I'm going to show you a helpful tool that can make your Roblox connection more stable. First, download the Gear Up Booster tool from its official website. I've added the official link in the description. After downloading, install it on your PC. The first thing you'll need to do is sign in with either your Facebook or Google account. On the Home tab, you'll find all the games installed on your PC. If you go to the Games tab, you can also browse through thousands of games available for optimization. To improve your network and FPS, go back to the Home tab and select the game you want to boost. For example, I'll select Roblox, click the Boost button, and the tool will automatically start optimizing the game by finding the most suitable server for you. Next, choose your server region. Always select the nearest server for the most stable connection. In my case, the Middle East server works best. Now, go to the End tab where you'll see a list of servers available in your region. You can either choose the nearest one manually or let GearUp automatically pick the best option. For the best results, I recommend keeping it on automatic. Finally, close the window and launch your game using GearUp Booster. Step 4. Optimize RAM with ISLC, Intelligent Standby List Cleaner. You can get all the files from my official website. I give link in the description of this video. Your RAM stores temporary data while gaming, but sometimes Windows doesn't clear it properly, which causes lag and stutters. To fix this, we'll use ISLC, Intelligent Standby List Cleaner. Install and open ISLC. At the top, you'll see your total memory in megabytes. Divide this number by two and type it into the box labeled free memory is lower than. Example, if you have 16,000 megabytes, type 8,000. If you have 32,000 megabytes, type 16,000. Now enable these options. Start ISLC minimized launch. ISLC on user logon. On the right side, enable timer resolution and set it to 0.50. This makes your RAM respond faster. Set the polling rate to 1000 milliseconds for modern PCs or 10,000 milliseconds for older PCs. Click stop, then start, and finally click purge standby list. This keeps your RAM clean and ready for Roblox, so you won't get memory-related FPS drops anymore. Step five. Use Chris Titus Tech Utility for Windows optimization. You can get all the files from my official website. I give link in the description of this video. Windows runs a lot of background tasks that you don't need. These can slow down Roblox. To fix this, we'll use a tool called Chris Titus Tech Utility. First, open the FPS Boost Pack folder and copy the code from the text file. Then open the Windows search bar, type PowerShell, right-click it, and choose Run as Administrator. Paste the code you copied and press Enter. This will launch the Chris Titus Tech Utility Program. Go to the Tweaks tab. Here you can choose Presets. Minimal Preset removes some useless background apps. Standard Preset removes even more for maximum performance. The program creates a system restore point automatically, so it's safe. Choose a preset and click Run Tweaks. Close the program after it's done. Now, your Windows system will run faster, and Roblox won't be slowed down by background apps. Step 6. Make keyboard response faster with Filter Keys Setter. You can get all the files from my official website. I give link in the description of this video. In Roblox, fast keyboard response is very important. We'll use Filter Keys Setter to remove input delay. Open the program and set these values. Ignore under, 0 milliseconds, removes delay for key presses. Repeat delay, 130 milliseconds, faster response when holding keys. Repeat rate, 10 milliseconds, keys repeat faster when pressed. Enable these settings and click OK. Now your keyboard will feel much quicker and more responsive while gaming. Step 7. Disable startup apps for faster boot and gaming. Many apps start running when you turn on your PC, even if you don't need them. This wastes resources. To disable them, right-click the taskbar and open Task Manager. Go to the Startup tab. Look for apps like Spotify, Adobe, Discord, etc. and right-click Disable. Don't disable important system apps. Restart your PC. Now, your computer will boot faster and Roblox will get more performance power. Done. Now your Roblox is fully optimized with secret FPS boost settings. You should see smoother gameplay, higher FPS, and less lag. If this helped you, make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Comment below your new FPS results.
I'd love to hear them.